Hi guys, it's Kylie the Jellyfish. Today I'm going to be doing um, a review for a wig. So a lot of you already know that I have made some wig reviews before and today um, I actually, well, like two days ago I just got in the mail a new Donna Love hair wig and I actually have a wig from them um, that I've already reviewed. You can probably click the video right here. Um, this video kind of shows me opening it. It's kind of more of like an like an unboxing type of video um, but this one I had already opened I've already worn it twice both times really just to like put it on and like take pictures of it with this is really just gonna be a try on and just like a quick review and I just realized I just have the wig laying right there behind me how awkward okay well the reason why it's laying there behind me is because I was brushing it out but I'll get into that in a second I do have a discount code for you guys for about eight dollars off I think you can apply the code jellyfish or Kylie the Jellyfish because for the first wig they gave me the code Jellyfish and for the second wig they gave me the code Kylie the Jellyfish so I guess either one would work you can check out the link to the actual wig that I have um, so I will just show you the box really quick this is the box that it came in it came in a much bigger box like protecting this box obviously um, or no not a bigger box it was a bigger bag and then I ripped the bag open this box is kinda banged up it's more banged up than the other one. The other one wasn't like this, um, but this also just like came in the mail on like, I don't know, it was like a rough weekend for everyone. It was a rainy day, Donald Trump became president, just everything was like kind of out of whack, you know, just like kind of, I mean, so I, I kind of understand this is like, this is just my life right now. <laughs> um, I'm just assuming it was it happened on its way here, but I do love this color It's kind of like a Tiffany blue it all comes in a plastic bag and everything and I think I show like what everything really looks like um, in the first Donna love hair review I did so if you want to see that you can totally check it out. So this little black um, net is what I hold the wig in just to keep it all together It's a lace front wig, which means it's a lot more natural looking um, and the thing that you have to do with lace front wigs is you have to cut off the lace on the front. It goes on the front right here. And that's, um, I don't know why they make you cut the lace off yourself. I really never understood that. But, I mean, I do it. Um, it also comes with its own wig cap. Um, here's, like, what it comes in. The, the wig cap comes in this, and the instructions are on the back, but it really is very simple. This is the wig cap. I really love this one. Like, this is so much easier than the other one that's just, like, a flat cap that's, like, pantyhose material. This one is, like, so much easier for me to use. I'm going to put on the wig and just shut up so you guys can really see it. Oh, yeah, before I put on the wig, I did want to show you guys something that I love about this wig. Um, I've never heard any other reviewer talk about this, but, um, this wig and the other one from Donna Love Hair, I absolutely love that the inside is like this, like, it actually has, like, a full cap that's, like, closed off. You no know, other wigs are, like, the wefts connected here, like, you can see the lines, but then you can poke your finger all the way through, and you can accidentally pull hairs through, and then it'll be on the inside of the wig, which, which can make it itchier, and I just feel like this is more like a snug hat than anything else, so it's like, it's a lot more like, smoother, and it just doesn't itch the head as much as I believe the other one does. The lace right here, this is the whole partable area, so this area right here, you can part however, which way you want, so I do part my hair over here usually. I really do like keeping the part in the middle though. And there are adjustable straps. It kind of works like a bra strap. These little hooks go into there and it can tighten the cap for you if you have a super tiny head like me. And um, of course the combs on each side and up here. The reason why I brushed it out earlier is because I got the wig and it was actually kind of really tangled at the bottom. I couldn't brush my fingers through it without it all getting caught up in there and just like pulling at it and everything and it was driving me crazy so I wanted to just like brush it all out and so that it's a lot easier to handle for the camera um, I do have pictures of what it looked like before I brushed it out now it's all brushed out and it does look cleaner to me um, I actually do want to like straighten it out more like the bottom looks like super curly like the, the there's like really loose waves like and if I were to take one bit like this I could go like this, one lock like this, and it becomes a bouncy lock. 
I'll show you guys what it looks like if I try to part it on the side. Um, it does take a little bit of time to train it over completely, so it looks weird, like, like it keeps falling over, but like, over time, um, if you brush it this way and everything, it, it does kind of stay better. Um, especially if you have a clip or something that can hold it. Have that over on the side and it just kind of looks really cute. Um, I would wear this like with a really cute outfit. It kind of makes me feel very pastel goth. I am just wearing like a t-shirt right now but it's more of like a glamorous wig like like a cute kawaii type wig. I do want to wear it more straighter though like I feel like the curls are, are tame. They're not like crazy curls but they're just a little more curly than I want them to be. I want it to be more like loose waves. Um, and I also kind of think it's just too long for me because I have three long wigs, like shorter wigs. They're a lot easier to manage and um, I might actually just want to cut off all of this part and just have it all up here. And I did want to just review the wig before I did that so you guys could see what it looks like when you buy it. And a lot of people actually do cut their wigs. Like I know a lot of people that cut their wigs. It really does make me feel like a My Little Pony, so um, that's one thing. <laughs> Um, I got green because I want it to, I want to start buying wigs that are colors that I'm afraid to go on my natural hair. Um, I'm really scared of greens because when they fade out they look really scary to me. Um, oranges look scary to me. Yellows look scary to me. I'm, I'm scared of dyeing my hair red but that's the next color I'm going uh, for Valentine's Day. Um, I just feel like I'm never going to want to go this color on my natural hair. The, honestly this wig is kind of more tangly definitely than the straight one just because it is curled um, the other one is a lot easier to manage but I feel like cutting the ends will also just make it a lot more tame and more manageable that I, I really do want to make a whole separate video about how you can like style it um, I'm very bad at styling hair myself so I want to look up tutorials on like space buns and braids and, and fun things like that because I'm really not good at that but I would like to make a video of me experimenting different things on this wig. Oh I forgot to mention that every purchase from Donna Love Hair also includes a Donna Love Hair wig brush and I love this wig brush so much it's like the best brush ever you could use on your wigs and it actually really does work on your hair like your regular hair too it's just like a really nice brush so that's a bonus I cannot put on lipstick for my life it's really been like kind of a rough week for me so I'm just kind of like trying to get as many videos edited as I can because I finally got my laptop back and um there should be new videos um, being uploaded really soon. I'm just like, I'm, I'm trying to organize everything and it's, it's crazy. So um, it, it would really be like amazing if you could leave me a like. Being a student and working and then doing YouTube, um, YouTube as my passion, it just like, it, it really does get frustrating sometimes because it also is kind of like a job for me. So like leaving a like really it's such a small thing to you guys like it probably just doesn't even mean that much just to hit a little button but to me it really does mean a lot like it impacts me a lot um, and I really do ap appreciate it yeah thank you guys so much and if you haven't subscribed to me yet please do so I just reached uh, 20,000 subscribers that's crazy to me so um, thank you guys so much if you are already a jelly friend and if you're not become one today uh, comment down below if you have any questions. Or, yep, I'll just try to answer as many questions as I can. And if I can't get to you too soon, um, you guys can just have a chat in the section below. Just tell me how your day went or something. Okay, so um, I'm going to go eat dinner now. You guys can check out Donna Love Hair on the description below. I really love you guys, so thank you so much. Stay epic. Bye. Guys, can I just show you like the weirdest thing that happened today? Literally just researching on the computer at school and then all of a sudden my friend freaked out because she said there was like a red spot in my eye and then all day all my friends were flipping out because look at this disgusting thing. Hold on, I'm not even in focus. Focus. Um, look at that. Look at that stuff. I strained my eye, I don't know, but <laughs> it's insane. Thank you.